that it's cut, I'll turn it off. And you can hear there's a five second delay with the vacuum to clear the hose and everything else. So everything works well. So here's the new drawer front. front. I uh, rounded off the edges to make it look nicer. Um, and actually, when I get the hardware, which I can't get right now because, well, it's snowing like nobody's business, um, it actually won't look too bad. It'll hide a lot of the disgusting part that's uh, kind of inside the drawer. So here's the interior of the dust collection system. Uh, that's the automatic switch hooked to the surge suppressor. Um, there is a gate that you can't see behind the the, uh, the vacuum. That's the blast gate. This blast gate is closed. The other blast gate is open so that when you turn the saw on like this, just a second, I'll turn it on. You'll hear the, the vacuum and the dust collection turn on also. So typically, doing pocket holes creates a ton of sawdust. But with this hooked up, it barely has any. better um, drawer, albeit sh much stronger than it needs to be. Um, definitely uh, a lot better wood, at least for the front and back. Um, let the glue set up and then tomorrow I'll put the glides on and saw out the front and uh, bevel it as well and with one more drawer to go. So the beast of a drawer is installed I could store baby elephants in there, I guess. You can see what the new face will look like. Don't have the hardware yet. And the last drawer is here, but I ran out of half inch material. Um, so hopefully the lumber yard will have some, but they've been sucking. So I don't know. Um, also need like hardware, stuff like that. But coming along, all right. Sands hardware, this is what it looks like uh, with the camfered or beveled edges. Looks pretty decent. Pull handles would be a nice add.